So there's a lot of diets out there that show you how to lose weight, but some are better than others. Some aren't so good for you, some are a lot better for you, okay? If you want to lose weight fast and in a healthy way, then stick around and I'll show you how. And at the end, I'll give you my two favorite things that you need to succeed to get the best results possible. So step one, you need to be nutrition wise, okay? You need to be eating to fuel your body. You need healthy, balanced meals, okay? So 40, 30, 30, 40% 40 complex carbohydrates, 30% lean protein, and 30% healthy fats. This is gonna give your body what it needs. So your diet needs to be high in nutrients, okay? And low in calories, so that you get your calorie deficit. Step two is to eat yourself healthy, okay? You don't wanna be cutting out and skipping meals, okay? You don't just wanna shrink things down. You need to be eating little and often, and the balanced nutrition, like I said just a second ago, 40, 30, 30. By eating little and often, it's gonna stop insulin spikes, it's gonna stop the fat storage, and it's gonna keep your body burning fat all through the day. Step three, the power of protein. You need to make sure you're getting enough protein in your diet. You need the protein to maintain muscle mass. The muscle is the furnace that burns the fat, okay? You wanna be burning fat off, not burning muscle off. So you need plenty of protein for that. In the description below, I'll put um, a little calculation for you to work out exactly how much protein you need. Um, and if you're getting older, you need to be getting even more protein in to sustain that muscle mass that you have. Step four, you need healthy fats, okay? So most people think, I don't wanna eat fat because I'm trying to lose weight and burn fat off, but you need healthy fats, okay? Our diets nowadays, we don't get enough omega-3s, we get too many saturated fats, okay? So to get the omega-3s in, you either need to be eating things like good quality fish. If you don't like fish like me, then maybe supplement in your omega-3s. Step five, you need to hydrate yourself, okay? You need to be drinking plenty of water throughout the day, and if you exercise, you need to be drinking plenty of water before exercise, during exercise, and after exercise. In the description below, I'll show you how to work out how much water you should be aiming for during the day. Step six is be exercise aware. You need to be doing some kind of exercise. Now, the nutrition side is the most important, but exercise is like the cherry on the top. You need to be doing little and often, ideally, uh, to your ability level. So if you're very overweight and you haven't exercised for, for years, then start off real easy, okay? Just start walking and then you can build that up to running later on. One of the most important things you should be doing is something that you enjoy doing. That way you're more likely to stick to it, you're gonna be excited about doing it and it's gonna keep that focus for you. As a little sidebar, it's good to plan your week. Plan your nutrition in, plan your exercise in. If you know you're going out one night for a meal, okay, Plan that meal in, look at the menu beforehand, pick something healthy before you even get there, okay? Before you get smelling the food there and get tempted into something that, that isn't gonna be very good for you, okay? So plan ahead with these things. Preparation beforehand is, is really gonna help you to, to overcome any hurdles or obstacles or things that, that are getting in the way. Make sure you make a good plan. Plan when you're exercising, plan what you're eating get that food in the house and make it happen. So step seven, rest and recover. If you're exercising lots, you need to have recovery in between. You need to rest and recover. You need to fuel your body for that recovery as well. You need to be getting enough hours sleep in the night so that your body's ready for the next day. Okay, so really important is to rest and recover. Step eight is to support your nutrition. So if you're a fussy eater like I am, um, it's good to um, support your nutrition by supplementing in things that you might be missing out in your diet. Also, if you're not eating all organic food, then you're probably going to be missing out on, on key nutrients in your diet because the food quality just isn't there to sustain the right amount of nutrients that we need. Okay, So supplementing in is a, is a great way to hit your targets for, for what your body really needs. Okay, Step nine is to get some attitude. Okay? set your goals, be determined, get a coach to help you if you really need to, but really be focused in on what you need to be doing. You need to have the, the right mindset, okay, this is really important, the right mindset to get you, you focused in, because you're gonna have challenges along the way, uh, things are gonna push you in the wrong direction, and you need to bring yourself back, you need to be 
strong mentally and getting towards your goal again. Step 10 is to inspire others, okay? If you can inspire others to join you on the journey, it's scientifically proven that if you do things in pairs or, or a group of you, you're more likely to get better weight loss results, but also long-term weight loss results as well. There's nothing worse than having a partner at home, ordering in takeaway when you're trying to be good or eating some chocolate when you're trying to be good. Um, get them on board with you, get them in he uh, heading in the right direction with you, in the same direction, and uh, you're gonna get much better results and they, they're gonna last longer and you're gonna keep the weight off longer, okay? Which is a key thing you wanna be doing, right? If you wanna get moving on your weight loss journey, check out this video here and uh, see what I do that helps me to lose the weight and get into great shape, okay? Take care.